So when we talk about Tibetan rejuvenation, so it's very important to, to see three aspects, right? So in general, re rejuvenation. First is the physical aspect. We need to rejuvenate our body in a physical level. So to rejuvenate physical level, we need to do some, uh, what do you say, physical exercises like yoga, we did the Pumba Jan, first touch in yoga and so on. And then also another thing is very important for, uh, what do you say, some other exercises like walking, okay? Uh, in ancient the Greek medicine, Hippocrates says, walking is man's best medicine. Okay? Walking is man's best medicine. That is really true, right? That is the best uh, anti, you know, uh, what do you say, prevention from all cardiovascular <coughs> disease. It's a prevention from all joint problems and prevention even from cancer and, you know, diabetes and so on, right? So that's why he said walking is man's best medicine. Walking is one of the best yoga too. Tibetan medicine uh, says uh, walking is the supreme lifestyle. We talk about lifestyle, right? You know, when we talk about lifestyle, there are many uh, topics about lifestyle, but according to Tibetan medicine, the best lifestyle is walking, right? So in our time, it makes sense because in our lifestyle, the worst, uh, you know, modern lifestyle is sedentary lifestyle. We are sitting too much, our sitting, so we are not moving enough, right? And then some people, they move, and then they think, oh, you know, they need to do special sport, running, jogging, it's okay, but some sports, when we do too much, and then you cannot do that every day, you stop it, and then get worse. You know, many athletic people, they have some strange disease, right? Because they push themselves and doing and doing, and one day, because of the life, they cannot do it, they stop it. You know, many, I know many uh, athletic people, they get uh, cyst. After when they stop the sport, you know, it's like every day they are doing sporting two hours, three hours, you know, kind of this. Somehow one day they stop, you know, because of work, because of different reasons, and then they get special cysts and then digestion problems, this and that. And also, one scientific research says uh, 100,000 sport people are dying every year. 100,000 people, sport mm -hmm. people. And most of the case, it's a sudden death. So I think they are overusing the physical body, you know, overusing it. And somehow, just uh, to pushing the body on its limit and to, to overtrain, overusing it, not so good, right? All right, so of course, in the West, everyone is talking uh, sport and sport, sport, but we have to be gentle with sport, okay? So I think, uh, like, uh, walking is very good for that. Everyone can walk, right? Everyone can walk. <laughs> Everyone can walk. Like the dogs, we have to learn from our dogs. We have to learn from our cats how to sleep. We learn from our dogs how to walk. Then we will be healthy and happy. <laughs> okay, and then uh, second part of rejuvenation is about energy. So about energy is breathing exercise. We are doing this non-purification breathing, so that's an energy rejuvenation. And then the third part is the mental part. So mental part, mental rejuvenation is a relaxation. Okay, relaxation. But what is the best mental relaxation? It's a meditation, all right? So I will guide you a very small, a very simple meditation. It's called the meditation of five elements, five elements healing meditation. All right. Yeah, I will guide you. Yeah, I, I'm guiding you now. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. I recorded it already. You recorded it already? Good, good. You can record it again. Okay. So it's like this. When we do meditation, yeah, if, if you are sleeping, you can lie down. Now you can lie down. If you're okay for sitting, you just sit down. And position, you just do freestyle position. Don't force yourself. 
All right, so this meditation is a combination of visualization and mantra, mantra chanting or mantra singing. Okay? So if you are, if you are good for singing and chanting, if you like music, you, fo you focus more your mind on music, on the sound. Okay? If you are more visual and artistic, you focus more on the, on the, the color or on the form. On the image. If you think you are good both of them, or you like both of them, music and color together, you do both together. <coughs> okay? Good? Disco. Sorry? Go to disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will send you disco now. Okay? <laughs> Just be quiet. Yeah. Just be quiet. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, ready? I told you your position is a freestyle, okay? Don't force yourself, don't force yourself, just relax. Let your body relax. Let your body relax. This meditation is called Rebalancing Elements by Meditation. All right? So it's important you remember that we are created by five elements. Okay? Our creator is not the God. Okay, if you like God, you can say it's God. But more concrete way, it's five elements. The space, the wind, the fire, the water, and earth. Okay, so the five elements creates our life, and five elements maintains our life. And thanks for five elements, that's why we are still alive. Uh, thanks for the wind, we are breathing, we get oxygen. Thanks for the fire or the solar energy, the sunlight. And thanks for water. And thanks for our Mother Earth. Right? We are living in the nature, and especially in the man it's perfect. You know, we are con directly, not only our imagination, we are directly connected to the nature. The blue space. The soft wind, the sunlight, the pure water, good soil, and earth. And end of our life, this our physical body will dissolve back to the nature too. Part of our body dissolved back into the earth, part of our body dissolved back into the water. And part of our self will dissolve into the wind, and part will dissolve in the sunlight. And mostly we will dissolve back into the space. We are coming from nature, we are living with nature, and we will go back into the nature. Everything is a natural process. Things come, let them come. Things go, let them go. Everything is an energy, just let them flow. All right, don't stuck in the past. If you have any bad memories, traumas, dramas, just let go. The past is gone. Don't stuck in the past. Don't stop in the past. If you had a very good memory, it means you had a good life. If you have traumas, dramas, bad experiences, at least you had a good lesson. <laughs> bad experience is a good lesson. So nothing is negative about your past. Don't feel guilt, okay? There is no guilt, there is no sin. We call it sin, sin. How do you say sin? Sin? Sin. Sin. Okay? okay. You are not in a church, so don't think about your sin, okay? You are free from sin and you are free from guilt. Just be yourself with your own nature. Your own nature is five elements. All right, so I'm going to guide you the meditation. 
above your head visualize a red triangle light that representing the fire element or the color <coughs> energy. Okay, if you want, you can put one your hand above your head, one hand above your head. Imagine in that area you have a red light. Okay, very beautiful red light, like a solar <coughs> energy, very shiny, very bright, and very beautiful. And this red light is the fire element. It removes any energy frozen in your body, okay? Let's say maybe you have some bad memories. The bad memories are like frozen memories, you know, frozen. And this red light will melt everything, melts away everything. If you have digestion problems, if you have joint problems, skin issues, the fire, the heat will remove everything. All right? So imagine that red light. And then we are going to say that mantra, it's a Ram, R A M, Ram. When you say Ram, imagine that red light is expanding. <clears throat> Ram Imagine your entire body is full of red light. Imagine the sun is shining in your body. And you feel warm and you eat and enjoy the solar energy. Aram is the seed of fire element. Imagine your body is filled <coughs> with the warm sunlight. Okay, next one is the bump. You put your hand on the forehead. So visualize there's a, 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 a white red dot or like a small moon there. Moon. White ball, like light ball, like a moon. So that's representing the water element. Okay, now you feel the water, the water element. <clears throat> Actually, our life has two main ingredients. 
The first is the sunlight, and second is water. So those are the main sources of our life. Okay. Now we are meditating in water element. So when we say bam, the sound is bam, and then imagine your entire body is filled with white light. Then like the moon is shining in your body. Okay, and you have a very nice and joyful feeling. Um, bam. Body is full of white light. Are you cold? Anyone is cold? No? Okay, so we did the uh, fire fire element meditation. So that uh, that was uh, a red light or solar energy, and then we did the water, uh, white color the lunar energy, white light. <clears throat> and now we do the wind. Wind is a green color, green, uh, green color in your throat. So you put one your hand on your throat. So if you feel heavy physically and mentally, and now we are going to do the wind meditation, and then you imagine your mind is becoming very light. And that's heavy, and your body also kind of like levitating, levitation, okay? Levitation. Make yourself feel light and open. Okay, the mantra is called Yam, Y A M, like Yami, Yam.
imagine your body is full of green lights. Green lights, like the green leaves, green trees. Yeah, the green light is representing the wind elements. Mm -hmm. Okay, in future, if you feel like you are heavy hearted, and you should do this meditation. Heavy heartness. Do you say heavy heartness? Heavy hearted? What do you say, heavy heartedness? Heavy heartedness. Okay, so now we do the earth element. Now you are connecting to the Mother Earth. <clears throat> Imagine a golden light in your heart chakra. So put one your hand on your heart or on your chest. That's the, our emotion spot. <clears throat> and imagine a beautiful golden light. Okay, golden light. And you are completely connected with the Mother Earth. <clears throat> Our great mommy. Grande Mama. <coughs> golden light. Imagine you are completely connected to the nature, to the Earth. <clears throat> okay, and now this 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 meditation also make you grounding. Okay, ground. You become very stable, very grounded, not spaced out. Mantra is called the Lam. L A M. Lam. Lam. your hand on your navel. Our life is starting from there, yeah? That little spot, little point. Navel. Here, navel again representing the water element. So we come from water element. Again, we, we repeat the water, uh, water element. Remember about your origin. <coughs> we are all born in the water. It's very important to reconnect it to the water. The 
nature, right? It's important to connect it to the earth and also so essential to connect it to the water element. All right? What do you have in your belly? I tell you what you have in your belly. You have a great ocean. Ocean, the ocean is in your belly. Water is very clear, ocean is very calm. Don't imagine the polluted water, okay? No pollutions, no, no plastics. It's the pure water, the pure ocean. Now that this, this time the water element will become uh, the calm, the mantra is calm. If you think you have any bad energy, bad memories, guilt, sin, bad karma, Anything, if you think, you know, it's stuck in your body or in your mind, now let them go, okay? This water element washes away everything, washes your sin, washes your bad karma, washes your sickness, it washes away the stress. <clears throat> um, Imagine your body is full of crystal like pure water. You are clean and pure. And now we do the space. Hello. I'm not here. I'm so sorry. Uh, now we do the space element. <laughs> space. So wherever you have pain, now you choose any place. Most of people, they have pain in genital area. Wherever you have pain, you have your put, you put your hand there. If you have any pain or any issues, okay? If you have any troubles. Yes, if you have back pain, you put your hand on the back. 
If you have many thoughts, you put your hand on your head. If your heart is broken, put your hand on your heart. If your belly is too small, put your hand on your belly. If you have hemorrhoid, you know where to put your hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's called the space element. The mantra is called the air. So imagine that you are self becoming like the blue space, the blue sky. All right, and especially that area, you know, where you have the pain. It's called the meditation of the space, space meditation. Imagine your body, your body, it's a mountain. Imagine yourself as a mountain, any kind of mountain, beautiful mountain. Very stable, very calm. If you want to sit up, you can sit up. Huh? Position is freestyle. Imagine your body is a mountain, your body is a mountain. And imagine your heart is the ocean. And imagine your mind is the space. Mountain, ocean, and space. You know, mountains do not have stress. Mountains do not get sick. Mountains are very solid and stable and very well balanced. So imagine 
your body is a great mountain. With the trees, with the rocks, with the snow, that's up to you. Okay, you make your own decoration. It's important to be a mountain. And imagine your heart is the ocean, profound, clear, transparent. The nature of our heart is the ocean. It's profound. It's connected. It's ocean of love and ocean of compassion. It's the ocean of joy and happiness. This ocean has so many waves, 100,000 waves every day. So often we ignore our inner ocean. Your heart is the great ocean. Um, peaceful, clean, and clear, transparent, full of love, joy, and happiness. There's no room for the sadness. There's no space for bad news for the good. Your mind is open like the space, a vast, blue, profound space. Free from stress. Free from pain, free from confusion, free from depression, free from anxiety, free from panic attack, free from traumas and dramas. A very profound and vast space beyond the pain and suffering that's called the nature of our mind. Your body is a great mountain. Your heart is a great ocean. And your mind great space. Now you hear the uh, mantra of four, five elements. Just listen to the mantra and the music and just keep, keep meditating on the mountain or ocean and space. Okay? And then we'll finish. Should be. 
是泪，两不是泪是泪，两不是泪是苦，两不是泪是泪，两不是泪是泪。So many types of meditations. I think for us it's very important to meditate with the nature. You know? To reconnect with nature is so important. Right, Professor? Yes. So, so 